Want a bite? I'd love to, but now's not the time. This rain came out of nowhere, and time's a wasting. Look, I've already replaced the deconstructor's power source. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh, I know what's wrong. I found out that its internal projection device is broken. It's probably the prism inside. But I know what to do. See those water cores over there? We'll use one of them as our new prism. Oh, okay. Let me go grab on then. The water cores are really jumpy, so be very, very careful. Come closer! Yes, like that! Like this? This is what it really looks like. Shall we go inside? It's too risky. We'll be fine. I told you it's dangerous out here. I just wanted to help. Help? You're only giving me more trouble. But I... There is no but. Go back immediately. Without my permission, you can't... I... I... Shirley! I'm sorry, Shirley. She... Hey, no need for all that. It's just some sibling squabble. That being said, I'm impressed that you two managed to fix the machine. Saved me a lot of trouble. It's not my place, Zeke, but Shirley might be more capable than you think. Maybe you can have a little more trust in her. I understand. I should go talk to her. Maybe we should let her calm down a little bit. How about we let those two kids have their chat first? You're right. I was too harsh on her earlier. She probably doesn't want to see me right now. Please take care of Shirley for me. It's raining. I don't want her to catch a cold. You can count on me. acted recklessly and made him mad. Let's apologize to him after the rain stops. Mm. I'm scared. Zeke must be furious. Maybe we should come back later. Right. Thank you for being here with me. Let's do it. girl now. 
I think it's time to step back and let you make your own decisions in life. Make my own decisions in life? Franz is right. Surely, you're not a child anymore. You have your own aspirations. I... I want to become someone like you. I want to help the shelter. You're looking at a tough road ahead. I'm not scared. I know what I'll be dealing with. There's so many things you don't know yet. The world doesn't stop even when life kicks you down to the ground. Then I'll... I'll get right back up again. What was that? Look out! What happened? Did the shelter's warning system fail? Activated Omnium guards at the central station. We have to deploy them. Time is of the essence. We'll try to hold them back while Shirley and you activate the guards. The control Defense is secured, but a large wave of Ravagers are attacking the shelter's front gates. Follow me across the bridge. We'll send those Ravagers packing. The barrier of the front gate is down.
Not good. She overloaded her suppressor to create the shield. It's really taking a toll on her body. I don't know if she suffered internal injuries to her organs and brain. Don't move her until I can evaluate her condition. She'll be fine, right? You know I'll do my best, Zeke. We still have Ravagers hanging around. I'm worried they'll come back. I'll take care of those Ravagers, Zeke. Thank you. Go to the runway. I have an armed glider for you. Surely holding up. She overloaded her suppressor to create the shield, but that exposed her to excessive amounts of Omnium radiation. We stabilized her condition with some medication, but we can't say for sure if she's in the clear. The shelter's a mess. Those Ravengers raided our warehouse. Celine and I will have to clean things up. Zeke's with Shirley right now. You should go see her. She's in the infirmary. She's out of danger, for now, but it still doesn't look good. <sighs> this is all my fault. Can she be treated? The shelter's only equipped with basic medical equipment. We've done all we can. Celine is trying to contact some friends in Banjis to see if any of them can help. I'm going to talk to Franz. He's got some connections. Maybe he'll have some ideas. Please take care of Shirley while I'm gone. I'll be back as soon as I can.
heard you guys. Zeke. He's gone to see Franz, right? Well, how is it? Give it to me straight, Doc. I'm so sorry. I made everyone so worried. I... Sorry. I'm feeling a little hungry. Could you get me something? <laughs> Anything, really. Thanks. You can't do anything without me. I knew you would pick me. Ready to go. Where are you going? Take... here I I just wanted to see the stars I'm sorry I just I just want to be alone just for a little while when we were little Zeke used to take me out here to gaze at the stars I like it here it's so quiet and peaceful like all the bad things in the world just didn't exist 
wish things could be like back then. Forever. I... I didn't want to make Zeke sad. Shirley, are you okay? I... what am I gonna do? Shirley! My fault. It's not your fault. Her condition's worse than we thought. I should have been watchful. We did a full checkup on her. Her conditions are not stable and may take a turn for the worst at any time. Celine's friends are coming to help, but they won't be here at least until tomorrow. We don't have that kind of time. <sighs> I need your help again. There's someone. Someone who may have a way of saving Shirley. There's an abandoned lab near the northern coast of Astra. Just send the word there. Also, please don't mention this to anyone else in the shelter. I'm sorry. I can't tell you the identity of that person. You're the only one in the shelter who can help me.
looks like it's been abandoned for quite some time. I wonder if anything still works. This data... Chrono Chambers? The coordinates look like they're near the shelter. You should at least wait until someone's home before you visit. I'm very sorry. I'm here to deliver a message, and didn't mean to look through your things. Why are you here, stranger? Zeke's sister was seriously wounded, so he asked me to look for help here. We will take care of that. Please leave if you have nothing else. Hello? Hello? <sighs> I really hope they can help Shirley.
Green, now! things are around there. If one of us changed, the closest to them will have to put them down. The very least, they can go with some dignity. None of us wanted to see this happen to Shirley. But Zeke, he... Paul and I will stay here to keep everyone calm. As for Zeke... I'll go check on them. Zeke, she's suffered enough. She's not dead yet. Can't you see the reality of things? She's already... Don't jump to conclusions so easily, Franz. She will be given a new life. <laughs> a new life? As what, a clone? Droid? Or maybe something like you? Isn't it rather superficial to cast judgment on what life is or is not? It is time. Let us go. Zeke, I pray you know what you're doing. I'm gonna bring her home. Guess you saw all of that, huh? Who was that with Zeke? Just an old acquaintance. Nothing more. She said there's still hope for Shirley. Is that true? <sighs> From what I know, aberration is irreversible. The only thing we can do for the afflicted is to send them on their way. As humans. But Shirley... I don't know how they're planning to save her. But even if they did... Would Shirley still be the same Shirley that we knew? You look like you have something to say. And here I thought you were going to keep it a secret. You knew? I should have known that's what Zeke would do. So what did they tell you? I didn't exactly get to meet them. I only requested their help via a communication device, and they said that they would. I also found something that looks like an experiment log. It mentions something called the Chrono Chamber. The Chrono Chamber? Ah, oh, you sly fox. How could I have missed it? Who's Zeke looking for? The leader of the heirs of Ida. Goes by the codename Sage. Even within their organization, he's shrouded in mystery. 
If he really was on Astra, everything that's happened so far would be the least of our troubles. <sighs> Let's head back to the shelter. We have to tell them about what's happened.